been set. Very excited today to be partnering up with Amazon Fashion again. You might remember at the peak of summer, we put together a little styling tips video, getting ready for the summer season. But now, how are we in the next season? But I'm excited about it. It's I our love favorite, favorite season. Not too hot, not too cold. Those kind of key layering pieces is what we're all about. And so now that we're transitioning into autumn, we've got some more styling tips for you and very excited to share a fab pair of boots. The boots of the season, right? The boots of the season. We have been asked so many times on Instagram about whether we're gonna work the chunky boot trends. It took up, I have to say, we weren't 100% sold at first. And I always think with a new style, it sometimes does take a while to get used to it and to visualize how you wear it yourself. And also make it your own. Yeah. So we decided the best way to kind of work that hiking boot, chunky boot trend was with our favorite boot from last year with a little updated twist which is the Grenson boots. So they're actually part of the London Fashion Week collection with Amazon, which is a storefront showcasing some of the best London designers because obviously Fashion Weeks aren't oh, happening sad. anymore. Do you know what? Because our history as stylists, we used to go and see each other before we were friends. We kind of would dread it at the same time. Love it and <laughs> dread it at the same time. Planning the outfits the night before. But anyway, it's not happening now. So you can get that whole London Fashion Week vibe by shopping the Amazon and London Fashion Week collection. They've got some of the best British designers such as Preen, Grenson, Kat McConey, and we've obviously picked the Grenson boots of the season. We've gone for two different styles, just to show you a slightly thicker, chunkier pair. With the rose gold detail, which I absolutely loved. And a slightly more minimal, perhaps slightly wearable pair as well. We start up six different outfits, getting you ready for autumn, winter, lots of coats, knitwear. I, I really wanted to be cold outside so I can wear some of these. Let's things. just do it. Okay, so look one. Who's starting first? I'm gonna go first. Go for it. Okay, so chunky boot styling. It tricky. Is, it is tricky until you really work out what's flattering and what works because the main thing I think about a chunky boot is you're adding the chunk at the bottom. Yeah. So you've got to keep things quite narrow all it's the way down. Getting that, those proportions correct. Really, really important. So you know I'm all about a very much more of a straight jean, whereas I think with a chunky boot, you've got to go a little bit slimmer. So I've got on these Levi's 501s, which I found on Amazon Ovs. I haven't you, worn Levi's. You can't go wrong with a 501. Though. I've never worn Levi's. They're iconic. They're so good. They've got a bit of stretching and they're super comfy high waist because he we all need a bit of high waist and then I kind of wanted to make it a bit more chunky wintry feel so I've teamed it with a chunky cardi now I've always gone for a chunky cardi when it comes to winter I like I how just, you say chunky cardi is it chunky cardi yeah. a chunky cardigan is such a great layering piece because we just get so hot and bothered running around the kids so I always love to wear a t-shirt and then put a cardigan or something on top because sometimes with a polo neck or something you just get a bit too hot I feel really comfortable in it it's grey which is such an easy colour and I think grey and black team together as you can tell, it's just a really fail safe, easy look. So, chunky Cardi, 501s, and this is my new thing for winter. Go on. Putting a shoulder pad T under to get the structure. Ha I mean, it just gives you that bit of shoulder, and I think it kind of elevates your look and makes it feel a bit more now. So, I've gone for my shoulder pad T underneath, and it's kind of a smart, casual look, and I'm loving it. Okay, so as Sir mentioned earlier, with chunky boots, you have to be so careful with the proportions. So for me personally, if I've got chunky at the bottom, I kind of need to even it out and have a little bit of chunk, but not too oversized, but just- It's very specific. <laughs> just get those proportions right so that you kind of look even. And way. also, like you said, it's about the proportions for your body shape. Exactly. So whilst you wouldn't feel so comfortable in a chunky cardi, right. I probably, with a smaller bust, might feel a bit too oversized up top, which is why this works well for me so it's just about playing around exactly i love a legging she and Spanx. i have to say the leather look Spanx leggings with the biker detail Spanx. and they are stocked on amazon i was like when i saw them, i was like yay i love these because so they much. sell out everywhere that we get so many messages from people saying oh they're sold out where can we find them it's, so, it's so, so true good. what i love about a leather look legging is that they are timeless they are classic they are ageless they will go with everything dress them up dress them down they are comfortable. Leggings is just such a capsule piece for your wardrobe for everyone. We all want to wear them, but sometimes you might feel a bit sluggish in them. And it's actually quite nice to know about a slightly dressier legging. Exactly. Because I actually don't own the leather ones, but you've, you've really taught me into them because I do tend to feel it's a much more casual look, but actually in leather, it 
really elevates it up. So I saw the biker pair and I thought they were great to team with the biker boots this season. I teamed it up with this Find, which is an Amazon owned brand. We love their kind of capsule pieces with just a little bit of a and, lift. And fashion forward pieces, exactly. but amazing price points. But obviously I love She's got her 18. For my 18. And I saw this and I thought it was a really great length. And also because it's oversized, but it's this thin fabric, which as we said before, we get a bit flustered in those thick, heavy knits. Although we love them, sometimes they're not so practical for our lifestyle. I love that it was long line, goes way below your bum, which is really important with leggings. And also, I don't want to show you about too bum. much detail Don't there. you think, I think it's really good that it's not tight at the bottom, because yes. sometimes long line sweatshirts are tight and then that's unflattering. Exactly. So that it kind of just skims down. Exactly. Really so for me, I went for really super slim on the legs, chunky on the bottom, oversized on top, and there we go. Okay, so look number two. I'm in my happy place because I'm wearing a shacket. It's like our safety zone, isn't it's it? It's just a t-shirt or a thin sweatshirt and a shacket is just where I feel my most comfortable. However, I have not tried a checked shacket. Nice updates there. Don't you think? It's really good and it's not too thick. Yes. So it's definitely a great transitional piece for your wardrobe, something I definitely wear now. I've obviously teamed it with a black t-shirt underneath because I actually quite like it to, it feels quite dark, so I like to bring that out with a black t-shirt. Not itchy because Sometimes you might think yeah, this kind of wool fabric could be a bit itchy, but it's really flattering. Slightly longer line, which I love, especially when wearing it with jeans. Now, a question that I've been asked before, and I know you have as well on Instagram, is about that kind of level of jeans and boots. Mm -hmm. Like, do you tuck them in? Do you tuck them out? Like, how do you quite work it? I almost feel like we're going to have two different opinions on this. We are. <laughs> Go on, what's yours? So mine is, I prefer a shorter jean that kind of touches the top of the boot. So I love a raw hem, etc. But that doesn't always work with a chunkier boot. So I've come up with the next best thing. Go on, shame You me. roll up the jeans. So obviously it's got to be a slightly wider shape. So you roll them up to give it that kind of boyfriend style feel. Yeah. And then it sits perfectly at the top of the boot. What do you think? I like it. And yeah. I like your own, your own little tailor. I'm my own tailor. <laughs> How do you like your boots and jeans? See, I was going to say, I probably would go when I, because my next look actually is a skinny jean, which I feel most comfortable Beautiful, yeah. with with a chunky boot. And I would always say to make sure that you tuck the jean right in, <laughs> that going against everything you think. I just do two different styling exactly. tips, two different opinions, and two different ways to feel comfortable. But I just feel like if you tuck it in, you're elongating, you're kind of not breaking the look, it's yeah. flowing. That's no, just I love that, but I think because I don't feel as comfortable in skinny jeans, yes. to me that doesn't that yes. doesn't feel right. So it's like, how can I make the more straighter style work? So I've invented the rollover. <laughs> <laughs> which I agree with you it's got to yeah. touch the top of the boot I wouldn't say to roll it up so you see skin no you just get it so that it like literally touches it and as you say if you're doing it yourself you can make sure that you get it to the right leg absolutely and I feel it definitely gives it a more casual vibe which I do love when styling up these kind of chunky boots so again I've got 501s on who are you is that? She is. but this is a more kind of tough more vintage version so they've got rips in and they're slightly more rigid which I really like with this kind of checked jacket it kind of gives that really 90s dress down vibe which is kind of what I'm loving right now and I just feel really comfy in this I think I can think of so many different ways to wear it and I think the best way to style it is with that chunky boot because I was thinking if I didn't wear a chunky boot what, what would you wear I don't think a trainer is awesome enough no. and I'm not going to wear like a pointy boot so actually it's all about the chunky it's boot it's all about the chunky boot right I'm a little bit excited about my outfit I feel like you are I, too when she put it on I, I'm really into this look I, I literally want to take it off her and put it on straight away <laughs> so the cropped puffer which we didn't think was a thing but it is very very much a look of the season, this boxy cropped puffer shape is very much happening. Amazon have absolutely nailed oh, it. Leathery. You're enjoying it, aren't you? I'm just it's enjoying the so whole, nice. like everything about it. This is Amazon own brand, again from the find. Again, those pieces, those fashion forward capsule pieces, they just get it so spot on. I do want to flag that perhaps on the lighting of this video, it might look a little bit more orangey. In real life, it's more like a rusty kind of rusty brown, yeah. right? It's just the color of the season. so nice. And you wouldn't probably think to pair it with black, but I think it really works. It kind of smartens it up a little bit. Um, so I saw it and I thought, you know what? I have to me. try that. That is a bit of me. And especially again with the proportions, although it's oversized, it's boxy. And it's short, so it's not going to drown you. Exactly. Make you look shorter. 
teamed with the biker boots and these joggers, which I also need to add, are a huge hit. Like you saw, Sarah saw them, she was like, I'm happy to know I was like, I want to see an up and down, I want to turn around. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. The thing with the side stripe, don't we just love a side stripe, especially in autumn winter? And also adding that pop of white with the black kind of lifts it slightly. It so really otherwise, does. if you were just wearing all black, it might look quite heavy, but the white just breaks up with it. And I like that it kind of gives a little bit of a sport chic vibe because the boots are very much like a look. They're chunky, they're they're biker style, but it's nice to mix it up with a slightly different variation. Sports Lux, kind of give it a different vibe, work it in a different way. And also, I think it's very easy to think you can only style them in one way, which is yes. why people struggle styling them. But we really wanted to show you today that a piece like these chunky boots, you can actually team with those wardrobe stables and dress them up in so many different ways. But also, while I was scrolling through all the puffers and the jackets, I came across a white puffer, which you've probably seen on the route. I have to try it on, because I think you guys are gonna love it as well. And also Sarah was very keen for me to put it on the video. I was like, can you put them all on? I want them all. Can we just it appreciate? It so luck. It really does. Coming up to ski season, but let, like it doesn't matter if you're not going skiing. This white puffer is definitely the look of the season, isn't it? And I just think it's great to see practical trend-led pieces on the high street. Yes. And that's now what we're drawn to. I think in especially this current climate, we're not dressing up as much, we're not going yeah. out as much. So if you want to buy those trend-led pieces, yeah. let's make them practical. And right. that feels really good. But also we're coming into autumn winter. We're gonna be outside a lot. And also more we do live in England. Exactly. Let's just be honest, we do need a hose. But we just need those pieces in our wardrobe. We're gonna be doing a lot of walking outside, hopefully going to restaurants outside. We need to stay warm, but we don't wanna lose our identity. So it's just so nice, especially on somewhere like Amazon, which is just literally at our fingertips, to know that you can get these pieces that just tick all the boxes. Third and final look, I couldn't not talk about loungewear. Literally our favourite subject. Loungewear, co-ord, comfy. And I wanted to prove that you can wear a boot with loungewear and co-ords. I think it's a bit of a weird territory because you've got to find the right boot. But I think the answer is if you go for a wider trouser, yes. You know, when it's really, really cold outside, you're not going to wear a bright white trainer. And we, we want you to be able to wear those pieces in your wardrobe, which is why we really wanted to try hard to style up kind of all those basics that we're loving. And especially I, what I would add with the trouser shape that you're wearing, it's quite wide and quite long, especially in the winter, you don't want that dragging yes. on the floor. And with these chunky biker boots, you've elevated yourself, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so let's talk about the co-ord. Moving away from like more of the tracky co-ord into this kind of like finer knit, more wintry, autumnal transitional style in the beautiest, softest, feel this. And this. I love this graphite grey, it's so chic. So chic. What's so nice about co -ord is the minimal thinking, especially for us in the morning when we're getting ready, even on the weekends, like, got other days where you have those relaxed, chilled, slow mornings. You need to, when you head into your wardrobe to get dressed, you need to know what works exactly. well together. So the co is just brilliant. Cardigan and a wide leg trouser is actually not something I've got in my wardrobe and it's something I've really wanted to try for a while. It's also fine where they just keep nailing those trend pieces. And I think it really works well teaming it with those boots. It's just a bit of a different look. So I don't know whether I'd go for this style in a big chunky knit on top. I think it works with the fluid shapes, the floaty cardigan and the floaty trousers. And it's just really chic, really easy to wear and super comfy as well. And also great for this time of year where it's, you know, we're in autumn, we're not in the peak of winter yet. Yeah. So you're not quite ready to wear your coats yet, perhaps. You want something in your wardrobe that's gonna see you through that capsule transitional pieces. Something like this, I probably wouldn't say you'd want to wear a coat on top. No. So it's one of those pieces that you buy now to wear now. And also what's great with separates is that you can wear them individually as well. Yeah. So this equally, just like I showed the other cardigan, will be great with jeans and a t-shirt, or actually, because it's quite slim -like, I would wear it with a cami I was and say a jean. dress. Yes, maybe. over a maxi dress yeah. or with a cami and jeans dressed up with like a little kitten heel and the trousers would also look great with a sweatshirt or a t-shirt tucked in maybe with a denim jacket. So really versatile pieces that can be styled so many different ways. So for my final look, I'm actually ending on my favourite. I didn't actually think that this was going to be my favourite until I tried this parka on. The fit and the style, it's would you really, agree? really, really good. So slimming. Man, this is so soft. So soft. It's obviously faux fur, but it looks Is it really like? No. Oh, it's, it's not, not. At the top it is. Yeah. That's really clever. But I think that's why it's so flattering. I've had parkas in the past which are lined all the way to the bottom, and they're bulky, bulky. and like big below 
over here, which you don't want on your hips. So the fact that this is really smooth and slimming around your hips with these nice big pockets at the bottom here. Handy. Very handy, very, very flattering. I'm really, really loving it. It's from a brand called Meraki, which is stocked on Amazon. And so are the skinny jeans, which I also want to add are beautiful. Tell me beautiful about them. Beautiful fit, super skinny. I love a jet black. Really, really. I associate people. a jet black super skinny jean with you. I feel like they would be all like desert island. It island really staple. would. And these from Meraki are just brilliant. They hold you in really perfectly. They go skinny all the way down to the ankle, which is really key when you're wearing a skinny jean with a biker boot like this because you want to tuck the skinny jean into the boot, as we mentioned before. Just want to add another point about the Grenson boots. The laces are really long, so we quite like to wrap them around the ankle. It gives that nice hiking biker look. Also, what I want to say that I really love about this cove, which you pointed out before, is that you can adjust the waist. Yes. So sometimes if you feel like it's too boxy, it. and you do like to nip in that waist, it kind of gives you the option to wear it both ways, which is always a really flattering tip and something to look out for. Totally, good point. So I'm actually now showing you just so that you can see it there. It's a really great look, school run mum, you want to feel cool, a great weekend look if you're doing some travelling as well. It's kind of like an all-rounder, very practical, but I think it's a really, really good one and I'm really impressed with it. And khaki, you can't go yes. wrong. If you're going to invest in a parka, it's got to be khaki. Yeah. Because it does go with all the colours. Even though the black's there, it doesn't offset it too much that you wouldn't wear it with your dark jeans or anything like that. It's just super classic and will literally go with anything in your wardrobe. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you've inspired you with your autumn winter wardrobe, given you some styling tips and also shared our love for the chunky black biker boot, which we know you guys are gonna love as well. If you did love the video, please just give it a little thumbs up just below and we will see you guys next Sunday at 7.30 a.m. Bye.